And I like to watch Channel 5. They have a certain quality. But now, do the inmates have that certain quality required to escape? We're not passing go, we're going direct to jail. Break. Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. Your chance to escape with a fortune. On tonight's show, Laura loosens up. Oh my life. No more activity tomorrow. Giuliano gets the grip for the clue. Peter, Ben and Michael make a dash for it. <laughs> this is jailbreak. to jailbreak. Behind me is Britain's newest Category B prison, custom built to house ten inmates for the toughest three weeks of their lives. The governor, who runs the jail, makes them work eight hours a day for a measly six quid a week. But if they escape, they'll win a share of a quarter of a million pounds. Now, yesterday we saw the women use every trick in the book to get ahead of the men. And so far it's paid off. They're ahead at almost every stage of the game. But what happened after we left the inmates in mid-escape last night? After Ben's sneaky but fruitless recce, the boys are awake again. We can hear The girls, you. always trying to stay one step ahead, are listening in for clues. And the thing is, if they got into the library store, if they got into that section, that means they've got that piece of paper. Yeah. That means they know what the number's on the bicycle's for. The other day. That means they do. Yes, they do. So what are you lot up to now, anyway? Yeah. You little liar! Have you gained anything? No. Do you mean we might have done? Have you, you lost anything? Not if you don't start talking, I'm going to come over there and spank your ass. <laughs> oh, Michael. Promises, promises, sweetheart. Eh? I said promises, promises. Bob, nip over here, give me a massage. <laughs> they were silent for I need a stroke. <laughs> Well, I was quite enjoying lying here listening to you. Lot. I've been here for the past 20 minutes. It's been very entertaining. Okay. You've been on about the exercise bike and all sorts. What? You've been talking about the exercise bike and all sorts. What exercise bike? Oh, the, what are you on about? Excellent, excellent, excellent. They were silent for five. They were silent for five seconds, and Ben went, "Bloody hell, we have been talking about the exercise bike. Quick, cover it up with the blanket." <laughs> <laughs> so really, they've caught us up, and we're all at the equal square. Cheers, so you get some sleep. How do you manage Jill through the day without any kit? <laughs> <laughs> with your head constantly being. I'm sure you are Dracula, you know. <laughs> Your head must be a mess. It is. The boys decide to call it a day for the second time. But spurred on by their devious tactics, Hannah and Bob, on their most adventurous night so far, are heading for the library store, following up the clue from the exercise bike, the one they overheard. Bizarrely, someone has left the clue under the door. They head back to the dorm. Lock the door, lock the door, lock the door. If you lock the door, have you locked yes. the door? Yeah. 
I've got it. I've got the clue. And I have you locked this door. Yeah. What is it? I've got a clue. I don't know. It's down my pants. <laughs> oh, no. it's, it's... I've got another clue. <laughs> Get in your bed. What? Oh, God. You're a star. Oh. <gasps> Did you listen to Jim count the words to the nearest ten in chapter of Harry Potter and on the Prisoner of Axe? Once inside the gym, look at what Hagrid used to fly to Harry Potter's rescue. Next rescue. We need I to get know. it now. So we do. We need to get it now. We do. We need it. We need it now. We can't Mate. waste time. We need it now. In their ruthless efforts to stay ahead of the boys, the girls race out again to get the book. Their eavesdropping has paid off. The girls are now working on all three escape routes. They have the Harry Potter clues, the Papillon clues, and the football magazine clues to solve. They're doing some serious reading. So just how well are the girls doing? As we know, our jail has three escape routes built into it. Each route is made up of a number of steps, and unless our inmates are really clever or lucky, they can't progress without completing each one. Route 1 took the inmates from their dorms to the library and then to the gym via the Harry Potter clue. In the gym is a cycling machine with a code number that gets them out of the all-important house block and into the governor's office. The boys have got to the clue on the bike first, but the girls aren't far behind. The boys' problem is the bike has two numbers. The first is a date, and this is useless. The second is the bike's serial number and it's this code that they need to get out of the house block and into the governor's office. Now, yesterday we saw Len looking at the numbers on the bike. Later we'll see if he and the rest of the boys know which is the right code and which is the wrong one. Whatever happens, they're still way ahead of the girls on this one. Now, Route 2 has seen just as much action. Our inmates went from the dorms to the visiting room using this number which they found on the uniform of Officer McKenzie. Now, both groups of inmates have reached this stage, but the girls have found something that the boys missed. Some football magazines hidden in a drawer. But they don't know what to do with them, and that's because they've skipped a clue. To move further along the route, they must read the sign on the back of the door which says, Handyman is unreliable and can be bribed with football mags. Once bribed, the corrupt drill break handyman Patrick will give them some tools. They can then use the tools to make a key which will get them into the adjudication room. So the girls are ahead by a whisker on Route 2. And finally, a look at Route 3. This took the inmates from the dorms to a maze in the kitchen loft. In a dramatic nighttime raid, Pat and Jenny got there first and found the swipe cards that will get them into the shower block if they can answer the two clues written on them. The first, open shower block at the same time Papillon swims for Brutus, refers to the fact that there's a time lock on the door which can only be accessed at a certain time. Now that time is 5 a.m. That's why they couldn't get in before. If they do get into the shower block, they must head for the prime suspect door, alluded to in the clue on the second swipe card. If they choose door number eight, an alarm will go off. But if they choose door number seven, they'll make it into a secret room which has an exit that leads underground. We'll find out if the girls get into the shower block later on in the show. So, the boys are ahead on route one, the heads are ahead on route two, and the girls are ahead on route three. But who will escape first? If you want to help any of the inmates break out, we'll give you the numbers later on. But coming up, we find out if a rogue bottle of vodka can heal the rifts between the men and the women, and just what they get up to in the dorms when the lights go out. She said, it's only a laugh. We'll all have a drink about it. I said, Pat, I don't drink with li downright liars. I said, you won't be drinking with me. She said, oh, come on, don't be like that. I said, no, you lied. You lied to us blatantly. You've moved. 
Ah, oh, you don't pick a no show. <laughs> Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. I'll have that. Cokeauction.co.uk. One ring pull equals 100 credits. At Blockbuster, we believe that everyone should be able to bring home the film they want. Tonight, watch George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg risk their lives in the search for stolen gold. In the action-packed Three Kings, Certificate 15. And with more copies than ever before, if it's out this time, it's free next time. Blockbuster, bringing entertainment home. Hello, Tiger. Guess what? I'm coming to see you. Hi, babe. I'm just popping out. All right, Jules. Hi. All right, sweet. Better go. Yeah, I'm making the cream. Oh, tiger likes something a bit fruity. Lovely. Lovely. Tiger, you're going to love this. Girl, I want. Hello, Tiger. Hello. Now's my lovely grandson. I've got a nice tart for you. Athletes greet one another without words. They stand on the line, every inch of their bodies projecting cool determination. Without making a sound, they scream, I am invincible. So your gas and electricity supply may not be that important. Yeah! But at M Power, we know you have a choice. So we're constantly working to lower your bills. If every time Uncle George made a cup of tea, he boiled just the water he needed, in a week he'd save enough energy to light his house for a day. Or if you switch the lights off when you leave the room, you could spend a few more pennies on a newspaper. And if we walked instead, we'd all benefit from cleaner air, get some exercise, and work up a bit of a sweat. Take showers, not baths, and you'll save enough water each week to make a thousand cups of tea. Every time you make a cup of tea. Yeah, I know. The environment. Are you doing your bit? One for one fifty-nine. When was the last time you palms managed that? <laughs> Settle is bitter. Smoothly does it. Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. Welcome back to Jailbreak, where the race for the first escape prize of £100,000 is really speeding up. We left you at the end of night 11, with the boys asleep and the girls swatting up on clues. The routine on day 12 began the same as every other day in the jail, with the early morning labour parade. Peter will be in the gym. <laughs> Laura, library computer. Um, computer access 8 <coughs> o'clock till 10 past. <coughs> <coughs> Giuliano Gardens. Roberta, library computer and Jenny, cleaning party. Any questions? Right. Party officers take parties. Break off. Thank you. On library duty, the girls are having a giggle. It's a book on anatomy that provides the amusement. <laughs> What's that? That's cool. <laughs> I wanted to see him yesterday. 
Yet in the next block, the mood is more sober. Ben discusses recent events with jail psychiatrist Sandra. I had a bit of a set two with Mr. Wakeling on. Right, that's a gym instructor. Yeah. Mr. Wayne, don't you think? I think I'd enjoy this a lot better if you, you were a bit less authoritative, do you know what I mean? You would enjoy it more. Yeah. Just you make me feel like a child, that just winds me right up. Really? You make and everyone, everyone. You just you, you talk down to us. You, you've got a problem with that? I've got a problem with it, yeah. Oh, that's tough. That really is tough. I mean, just think about it then. Do I really give a damn? And that just set him off on one, full on outburst, and I would call it a verbal attack. Back in the dorm, the girls are still in high spirits. No, what's that over there? <laughs> oh, look, it's Bob's tea. Oh, look. <laughs> Get a grip, Bob. So as soon as you sit on this bed, you're going to get in the pack. It's a huge triangle. I'm getting the pack to a and I'm losing everything. <laughs> oh, my God, I've lost my lipstick. <laughs> oh, where's my flip flops? <laughs> That's it. Architect Giuliano questions Officer McKenzie's building skills. What oh, ye of little face, Giuliano. I believed. <laughs> what could have happened, quite frankly, is that I might have lost my temper, and I very nearly did lose my temper. Yeah. And the more you go on about it, and the more you say that, the more it encourages me to do it even more. Oh, okay, you've got, so you've got some wide. strange... Just, just, just be no, wide. No, don't talk to me like that, Mr. Wayne. Just Where don't you going? Talk to me like that. Stay here. Hey, Ben, stay here. Ben, you stay here or you're on report. OK, and I'll, 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 I'll make it. The report me punishments me mean more, Jim. Everything else I can handle. I can handle the guards, mm. I can handle the reports, mm. I can handle the, the punishments. Mm. Not a problem. Mm. Wakeling, I can't handle him. Mm. If you don't want to put up with it, you refuse to do it, and you get put on report, and you, and you suffer those consequences. You lose your privileges, OK? That's the way it goes. OK? Yes? You've got no choice. I the shower at 10 Bob checks one of her five daily emails. So if anybody can tell us if we've got the right time or if we haven't or what's going on again, that'd be dead helpful. Um, that's about it. Oh, I've been dying to do that. I can't do that in there with McCarthy. I'm going to put me on report. Sandra continues to address Ben's I mean, concerns. You must know about from your psychology degree about what happens if you're in a confrontation with somebody who's angry, and if you respond... Yeah, it just escalates, I know. Yes. What was the hardest thing to do when somebody's in your face, shouting at you, winding you up... Just, just listen to ..who you hate anyway? Down. Yeah, it was very difficult. That's an, that's an almost impossible thing to do. But it, felt, it left me feeling disempowered, unfortunately. Oh! A vital clue. Alan, you are a superstar. Now then, 5 a.m. How are we going to wake at that time? So, one of Roberta's daily jail mails sent in by you has given her the answer that will help her get into the shower block. Now, the girls really could be set for an escape, but they still had a long and eventful afternoon ahead, which started with Laura's visit to the prison psychiatrist. Hi. It's time for Laura to spill the beans. We just all sat down and we were just all miserable and frustrated. Mm. And we had a really, really good night the other night when mm. we got into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And even the boys don't think... Well, I don't know how they don't think it's us. I think they know it's us, but they don't think we've got anything. Yeah. And we've got so many clues from there and stuff. Um, things that we have to actually take so they're not going to get them. And um, <laughs> <laughs> also, the, the great thing about it was that we was acting all innocent and stuff, and Pat was pretending that um, she wasn't getting on with the rest of us to try and get in with them. I see. And um, Giuliano gave her the code to the kitchen door before they'd even tried it themselves. So we, that's how we got in. Next in is Giuliano. It's clear he's begun to work out the girls' tactics. Hello, how are you? Too so bad. As a group. Yes, it has. And God, by God, they, they, their psychology is weird. What do you mean? Oh, bum stuff, this is. Unbelievable. They're flashing it around like they go they, they can to soften us up to get into us. And they're <laughs> poor Peter, they're working on Peter. <laughs> it was so obvious what they're up to. They're so blatant, you know, particularly Laura, that he sort of thought, gosh, they, what, what do they think we are, stupid or something? You know, this is a little bit. <laughs> 
Whoa, shocking. Maybe the girls have a point. The boys still think they're ahead. And it would be nice to help them out, but it'd be a bit frustrating if we did that or we found that all the stuff that we were finding and they pipped us to the pose and got in first. You know, that would be, yes, that would be deeply irritating and frustrating, no question. Giuliano could be in for a rude surprise. Next, there was good news from an unlikely source. Patrick, the corruptible handyman. <laughs> Your name's Patrick, yeah? Yeah, that's right. We've got some clue that we should talk to him. Is that, is that true? Mm, I don't yeah. know anything about that. Right, OK. Right. OK. Yeah, one sec. How are you getting on in here, right? Mm, all right. Yes, yeah, it is. So it's something that might... Uh... But Patrick is not as trustworthy as he looks. Keen to prove he's open to bribes, he's sneakily smuggled in a bottle of vodka from the outside. Whoa! Just a good luck. I hope that sorts you out a bit. Happy day, thank you. Lem. Cheers, guys. Take care. Take care, Patrick. What's that all about? What's that all about? What is that all about? Just give it up. Yeah. I said to him, I said to him, um, what is that all about? <laughs> a bottle of vodka. <laughs> 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 I'm afraid. Patrick also shows the girls that he can be bribed. Might have a night off with that. Oh, <gasps> you. Oh. Oh. Give him that cuddle. Oh. What is it? Oh, lady, please. <laughs> Too much. Yes. After their first taste of alcohol in more than two weeks, prison life is soon forgotten. The boys and the girls react very differently. Begging, begging you. And I want someone to feel the <laughs> <laughs> the I, I, I haven't, I haven't had an experience, the but I do find certain women attractive and... Yes. The situ what, well, you've the gone situation out? was sexy. Was she afraid? Yeah. It depends, because I'm not a lesbian, I couldn't... No. I've not quite not in with a girl when I have sex. No. I've done it to turn men on and things like that, and that's yeah. what I find sexy in it. Yeah. And a lot of lesbians would probably punch me in the head for saying that, because they hate anything like that, mm. don't they? But it, it is. It's true. It's sexy doing it for a man. Yeah. Not a man you love, but it's sexy for doing it for any old bloke. Yeah. <laughs> well, not any old bloke, but you know what? Oh, I know I'm all right. I'll <laughs> slap her, innit? <laughs> so you what, that's gone right to my bleeding head. Well, I think we can safely assume the girls have now bonded. Relations between the girls and boys, though, are still rather rocky. As Peter and Ben were left with a washing up after lunch, Len and Pat were assigned to garden duty, where Pat made her first big mistake. The next task for Len and Pat is to help build the jailbreak garden. Every woman lies. Every woman lies. Oh. <laughs> They're oh, devious. Women, women are devious. devious. Women are bloody right. dangerous. Drag it off. Hey, they are dangerous. Told you that. And men fall for it every song? time. Uh, you fall for it every time now, do you? <laughs> Peter, Ben and Chef Lou Proctor are having a few problems in the kitchen. Oh, fuck. Sick. There's another bloody sausage roll out. Oh, it's well done, sausage roll. They've managed to burn tonight's dinner. Where's your back? Bloody killing me, Bob. <laughs> Carrying on. I can see me folding up tomorrow. <laughs> Jenny gets her emails, and she's in a fighting mood. Want to be first, of course, I want to be first. Not because of the money. I just want to be first. But I want to get a girl out there. I really do, and I want it to be such a kick in the teeth of the guys because of their arrogance and their nastiness. By the time their garden roster ends, Len and Pat have fallen out. I am not sure, honestly. I haven't. Don't believe you, Pat. I am, darling. I haven't, honestly. Only having a bit of fun. Len has realised that Pat lied to him earlier in the week. She pretended she and the other girls weren't getting on. 
but it was all just a facade to get clues from him. So she just told us a pack of lies, for sympathy, and you nearly fell for it, and I nearly fell for it. Thank you very much. In other words, you'd be just lying. It's outright bloody war. Over dinner, the girls are having a giggle while Len is still in a bad mood. Once all the boys are back in the dorm, Len tells them the full story of what's happened with Pat. So I've just been into the garden with her, and I've just been talking to her with Mackenzie. You know, like she's been taking the out of me with my bad neck and that. And she said, uh, oh, Mr Mackenzie, she, she, he says, how are you going on? He says, oh, it's fantastic. She said, I couldn't have wished to meet a nice lot of girls. She said, we've got on, we're brilliant from day one. So when he walked away, I said, what have you just said then? She said, uh, what about? I said, you know what you just said? She says, well, it's only a game, Len. So she, I, said, I said, well, why would you lie to me? She says, well, you'll see afterwards when the show finishes. She said, it's only a laugh. We'll all have a drink about it. I said, Pat, I don't drink with li downright liars. I said, you won't be drinking with me. She said, oh, come on, don't be like that. I said, no, you lied. You lied to us blatantly. Well, I, know, I know what you're saying, but I still don't think we should be seeing this as a war between us. That would just divert our energy. Well, no, no, I'm not. Do all I'm saying is now, personally... That's what he just said. No, all I'm saying now, Ben, is personally, my personal opinion, which you can't take away from me no matter what happens, my personal opinion is I don't like to be associated with downright liars. Please, for God's sake, you guys have got some good, you know, energies and ideas and all this, and you're spending too much time thinking about something you shouldn't even be thinking about. Focus on what we need to do, which is get us fired out of it as soon as possible. Ben, I'm with you, but I'm just flagging up one thing. Female, they are paying yeah, yeah, sexual yeah. politics yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be wary of it. I'll, it doesn't I'll work you. with Ryan. <laughs> the girls try to justify yeah. their dirty tricks. Yeah. 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 Honey, just as long as, as long as you defend is. me, because you know I've done it for you a lot. I could or if I get one whiff of it, I didn't hear that. Darling, you do not need to ask us to defend you. I said, and that is what that was done for, because you were asked in the first place. That is why we... We so played that tactic, so and all we've done is and all we've done is tell us, and all we've done is tell us, yeah. you've done us a favour. Giuliano's unhappy about something else. He's gone to see the governor to complain about guard Ross McAfee. Mr Giuliano, sir? His presence here is completely and totally and utterly unacceptable. Um, um, he's got some inner problem with himself. He's a vicious, nasty piece of work. I don't know what his personal problems are, it just doesn't work. And we're all now going around as glum as hell. He's in charge of the library, we can't move. The guy's got a problem, I'm sorry. Unlike the boys, the girls are in high spirits. <laughs> Giuliano is particularly low. He finds out that the clue he gave to the girls has helped them get ahead in their escape. This doesn't help his already less than sunny mood. So you saw it there. Giuliano, the architect, is having hassle with the prison officers. And we've seen earlier in the week Len having several run-ins with the guards. But what about the other side? Let's hear from some of the real-life prison officers whose job it is to keep the jailbreak 10 safely locked behind bars. I'm saying rear of library. All staff to fix posts. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 30 prison officers are on duty. Their mission, to stop the jailbreak 10. But nearly two weeks in, how are the guards and the prisoners getting on? The relationship with the females first, in the first instance is good. You know, uh, I think it's because they're females. They're quite giggly, you know. They're always nice to you. In the morning, it's a good morning. Hello, darling. You all right? The guys are certainly they're taking it a lot more personally, and they, there seem to be a lot more friction. You can see their faces now when they come out to to line up. Oh, they're furious sometimes. We saw them one morning and obviously weren't happy about something. And uh, we found out later on that it was because of a confrontation with a guard. Is a uh, roll count of the female door required? Over. No, I've confirmed that. The numbers are correct there, over. Roger that. I've had a run in with a couple of them, you know, that have nipped back at me. And as I turned around to put him on report, you could see that there was a lot of tension in his face. At the end of the day, they are having to do things when they're told. They're having to have a shower when they're told. They can't go out for a drink or whatever, and I think pressure will mount because they're locked away. They can't do what they like, and they're being told, as I say, by younger men, and I think that gets to men sometimes. Let's just do a check on them, just in case you're Rubbish. 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 
Rubbish. Rubbish. Rubbish and rubbish. Have I got any right? No. And then the day we're down here, as prison officers, that's what we're doing our job as a prison officer. Not doing it as a game show prison officer, we're doing it as a prison officer. Right, he's got a gear sword. The pressure's starting to get to them, us kind of clamping down on them. Uh, it's starting to irritate them a lot more now, and yeah, their, their aggression level's going up a little bit, their tension's going up a little bit. Oh, check his Timothy bottle. I think it's got vodka in it. It's good to see that they're looking at us as prison officers. You know, it's a. Uh, they, they've got their. It's, it's came to the point now, they've got their gang and we've got our gang. It's the same against us, kind of thing, you know. <laughs> But it's not all tension. There's one guard who seems to keep everyone happy, prison officer Mackenzie. I know they're like me. <laughs> They've said to me, you treat us decently, so I have no problems with them. But I don't do them any favours, no favours, but I treat them right. You see, they're not all hard nuts. After the break, we'll show you the prisoner's boldest escape bid yet and you'll see exactly what happens when the contraband booze really starts to flow. See you then. How about you lot, putting your knickers in bras on? Do you have to wear my bra? Do you have to wear my bra? Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. There's a sexier way to connect to the web. But whatever you do with the new Siemens C35i, be inspired. Mm. The new Siemens C35i. Discover the fresh sensation of pure fruit waters in a moisturiser. New Garnier Synergy Fresh brings you a totally fresh way to moisturise. Garnier's latest innovation, a blend of pure fruit waters and an incredibly light, instantly absorbed cream. The texture tells you it's so quenching, so moisturising for fresh skin that's soft and supple. New Synergy Fresh, a fresh sensation in moisturising power. Formulated and controlled by Laboratoire Garnier. The first resort.com. Over 9 million holidays with great late deals. The first resort.com. Abby's messenger of the gods, Harkin and Zeus. What's up, dude? You've stolen the drink of the gods. Now suffer my wrath. As Ooh. punishment, you must hand over your wing sandals. <laughs> I don't need these ancient Greek sneakers anyway. I feel something better. Better than the divine ambrosia? <laughs> yeah, it's Red Bull. Red Bull, a new drink of the gods? No, nah, it's a new cold drink on Earth. It's more fun down there anyway. And how do you plan to get back without your wing sandals? With Red Bull, it gives you wings. There's a new kind of Nurofen, one you can take anywhere, without water. For effective relief at the site of pain, new Nurofen Meltlets. Looking for the right sofa at the right price right now? Well, there's at least £250 off every sofa in the DFS and Northern Upholstery Autumn Collection. There's loads of them. And no matter what you choose, there's four years free credit with nothing to pay for a year. So, for the right sofa with £250 off, get to DFS and Northern Upholstery right now. I see dead people. How often do you see them? <laughs> All the time. The Sixth Sense. Own it on video. They're everywhere. Hello. Hey, who? What's up? None, B. Just watching the game. Having a bud. So but you. Nothing. Watching the game, having a bud. True. True. What's up? What's up? Yo, who's that? Yo! You pick up the phone. Hello? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Yo, where's Dookie? Yo, Dookie. Yo. What's up? 
with that. <laughs> Hold on. Hello? So what's up, B? Watching the game, having a bud. True. True. Terminator 2, Tuesday at 9 on 5. Jailbreak is sponsored by bananalotto.co.uk. Welcome back to Jailbreak. Inside this state-of-the-art jail behind me are five men and five women who are serving a three-week sentence. Now, some of them have been keeping their noses clean and staying out of trouble with the prison governor. Len, the car salesman, isn't one of them. Stand there, please, Len, and give your full name to the governor. Smith 009. 42-year-old Len is before the governor after the guards found vandal grease on his trainers. Is there anything you want to say? It's just a load of crap I'm dealing with. You might as well write it down now. Right. Never got a fair hearing here anyway, so stick it down, guilty. OK, Mr Smith, what I've decided to do then is uh, to take the privilege of jail mail away from you for tomorrow. Thank you very much. OK. That's all right, Thank you. Come on. What was that? All right. Len's fellow inmates try and cheer him up. We're all going through, we're all at a period now where we're at a bit of a nadir and, 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 you know, the more you think, the more you go into these ups and downs, emotional ups and downs. <laughs> the girls are in better spirits. And as a she was going, Mr Mitchell goes back as a pint and things. Is that a strong one? The lads share out their vodka to make themselves feel better. To the team. To the team. Cheers. Hang on, I want my socks To the escaping guys. To the team. To the team to outside. To getting drunk. <laughs> to getting active. <laughs> wrecked, yeah. and, to meeting, and, and to meeting you guys. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't want to really go to that one. And for getting out of here tonight, somebody. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice Laura dishes out their vodka in oh. cups of coffee. Oof, how much vodka have you put in there? That smells like nail varnish remover. Not a lot. Really? So strong. It does taste strong, actually. Is I didn't put a lot in. Sweet. I don't want to blow your party, but I'm just going to nip to the gym because it's. I don't, Hiya, want, yeah, I do it, I don't want to break into the gym. See you later, Mike. Have a nice night. Yeah. Well, well, Take well, it easy. Number three, six, eight, zero. We'll let you out in a second once we've just poured the rest of this out. Young Michael heads for the gym. His quest for clues continues. Michael's absence, the boys finish off the vodka. Lovely. It burns it. Burns it. Sounds so shaky. Look at that. Look at how desperate that is. Michael returns, none the wiser. Let's get it ripped up. It's in pieces for some reason. Oh, about this then? Nothing. There's something on it. There's nothing. That, that, what you're working on that bag is nothing. Take my word for it. A few drinks later, Laura, feeling flirty, decides to go and chat to the boys. Tell you what, you're a man. I've not took them now. Shut up. 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 What are you doing with your knickers on? Have you, have you got nothing on? <laughs> Pete, sit down and have a drink. We've all swugged up, we're finished. Yeah, we're... we're... Mate, we're all finished. Bring the drink down, though, cos we ain't got no leg. No. No, no, no. I'm I have to tell you. Oh, it's not looking good for you, Laura. Yeah, you'll have to stay in there, though. Yeah, go, go on, then. 
I'll come and knock on your window in a minute and come for your back door. I'm a bit slow, aren't I? Yeah, quite a lot. I'm going in then. You look very wet down there. Escape, escape. So the guys have a dilemma. Do they give in to temptation and accept Laura's invitation to come to the female dorm? Or do they refuse on principle after being stitched up several times by the girls? One thing is for sure, the women have something in their favour. They still have some vodka. Bobby Michael's face now. <laughs> First in for the party is Michael. Is it just you, Michael? I over before and didn't spill a drop. Is it me? <laughs> Yeah, they won't come over while she's got any vodka left. Yeah, we have. We have. We've got loads of it. Look. There's a bit left in this bottle there. Oh, it's Ben. Next, it's Peter. Take your shoes off. Ben is busy having his own party. So much flavouring. You're one of those weird religions, you know. I never knew you were so desperate. What? Very they're gonna have those two guys <laughs> in their birthday suits in about five minutes, I reckon. <laughs> They're not gonna contain themselves. Oh, they got in here. Has he gone through the back door? Yeah, you yeah. go in through their back door. Yeah. yeah come on. Come, come on. on. They're all in their underwear. I don't fancy it at all. I don't fancy it, but I fancy a drink. <laughs> you tart. Giuliano is more uh. interested in escaping than partying. He decides to try out the other code for the turnstile, taken from the exercise bike in the gym. The code works, and he joins the others. We're in. We're not doing it yet. What are you twitching? To, uh, to, uh, oh, just keep the front front stuff. Oh, what's the word? Oh, what? <laughs> just the front. You did you not. Did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my That's God. Someone talking to him after that. His success, or maybe the vodka, has clearly gone to his head. The girls decide it's time to get some air. Modesty prevails, and they all put on their wellies. Boys take up the challenge. In the male dorm, Len and Giuliano enjoy their own kind of fun. What a great night, hasn't it? Oh, oh, really man. enjoyed tonight. Much needed, much needed. Come on, let's go and find a picture. <laughs> right, Up it, yours. It, 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 Up it, yours, Vicar. It, it, put it there. <laughs> we don't want a tumour. <laughs>
the toilet picture. <laughs> Give me the pen. I'll, 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 sort, I'll, I'll, I'll sort it off. You can do it. <laughs> Giuliano and Len are recreating the stolen portrait of the governor. You think of a caption, you can draw it. Governor, share the joke. Keep your eyes on them lads. <laughs> Laura, meanwhile, okay, has more than right? just her eyes yeah, on Peter. It's just up. So the party's over, and Giuliano has finally cracked the code for the house block's electronic turnstile. Now, this is a real breakthrough. It's the only way to get through to the outer compound. To make it across the compound to the governor's office, the boys must work out when the gaps in the guards' night patrols are. In fact, for 10 minutes on the hour, every hour after lockdown, there is no patrol. Let's see what happens next. With a head full of numbers, Len, Giuliano and Ben try to make the very first breakout from the house block. They try the code on the turnstile. And it works. Len watches as Ben moves on. The guard room is just meters away. The officers unaware. They try the date code on the governor's office. But this time, no luck. The guards have spotted them. But they make it back to the dorm without being caught. They still can't work out the code for the governor's office. But then Ben has an idea. Yeah, that's not a bad point, actually. That's not a bad point. What if it's the same code? What did they, what's the clue say? Yes, it does say the governor's oh, you're joking. <laughs> you're joking. It's beauty. Thank you as well, be it. Now the inmates' attention turns to the visitors' room. Roberta and Hannah are the first in. They need the clue written on the sign on the back of the door. As the girls deliberate, the boys are headed in the same direction. All the inmates are tonight targeting the one location. Both parties are in for a surprise. The girls are trying to write the clue down. Michael is less subtle. You can't. Get down, get down. I can't put you up unless you're on the other side. Just me, we're going in. Yeah, so have we. Hey. So have we, and they can. Giuliano is getting impatient. Don't, 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 
In the end, it's brute force that wins through. The boys now head for the library. They're looking for an Arabic dictionary, believing they have to translate the words on the sign. Back in the dorm, the agonizing continues. Giuliano heads for bed, but the girls are just warming up. And this is what Roberta managed to solve. She didn't need a dictionary and she didn't need anyone's help from the outside. She realized all she had to do was turn the side upside down. And there it is, the handyman is unreliable. So the football magazines now make sense. And that's why Patrick, the handyman, was so keen to prove he could be bribed, but the night wasn't over yet. If you remember, the girls had been told to head for the shower block at 5 a.m. So with almost no sleep, that's where they go. Before their dawn raid, Pat and Jenny are trying to work out which room to go into in the shower block. How do you feel about which door? I've got a feeling it's the eight. That's the only one with a guard on. Which one? Laura's in on the act as well. Right, it's a couple minutes to five. OK, we're ready. No. Jenny swipes door seven and then mistakenly tries eight. This sets off an alarm in the guard room. This is the entrance to the tunnel out of the jail and the girls are in luck. Someone has left the gate open. The stairs are locked. This is where the laser is. Laura sneaks back to the dorm with the precious swipe cards. The guards are on the move. The girls are living on borrowed time. But luckily for them, the officers can't get in. They haven't got their swipe cards. Pat and Jenny can breathe again. The guards continue to look for their prey, but at the moment, in the wrong places. Thinking they've worked out the clue, the girls enter the tunnel. What'll happen to Jenny and Pat? Well, you'll have to wait until Sunday to find out. 
If you think the boys deserve some help in regaining their lead over the girls, or you think the girls need an extra push, then you can pass your tips on by leaving a phone message for your chosen inmate. The number to call is 090 15 6555 or log on to the website at www.channel5.co.uk forward slash jailbreak and send an email. Hey, you could earn £10,000. Bye-bye.